YouTube, what's it doing, man? We are back with another video. It is early enough for me to get a vlog in. Everybody who's been rocking with me, I appreciate you guys, man. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you are a returner, welcome back. Look, I'm on my way to Starbucks. I'm about to get my espresso. Ooh, the line is packed right here, boy. Well, kind of, but that's, you know, usually it's not that big of a line. I'll just hop out and go, go inside. Perfect, gives me some time to vlog. Uh, man, quick update. I'm feeling great. I got about six more days of March left, seven more days of March left. I feel like I've made progress, but I also feel like I could have made more progress. One of those situations where I'm not going to make excuses, but I think I told you at the beginning of this is that, you know, I, I have some things going on this month. I have my birthday. Uh, we're going to celebrate it back to back weekends. I'm going to go out. I'm going to drink. I'm going to live life. I'm going to be a human. <clears throat> I'm gonna eat carbs. I'm gonna, you know, enjoy myself and my family and my friends around me and have a good time overall. Um, so yeah, but I've been attacking the gym. I've changed some things up in the gym and um, I feel good, you know. Um, what this is all about is letting the momentum take you into the rest of the year. March is one of those months where you kind of barrel down on everything, go a little hard, um, prove it to yourself, barrel down, be consistent, get in the gym. Uh, work hard financially, get better sleep, eat better, and um, build better relationships with your friends, your family, your girlfriend, whatever it is, your boyfriend, and have better relationships moving forward. And just overall, be a better person. So I feel great. Um, what I can say is I have been eating 90% meat, 90% carnivore, and um, the rest have been uh, some potatoes, a little bit of uh, rice, a little bit of carbs, a lot of salads, and um, just just foods to fill my macros a little bit more. Because what I will tell you is, when I personally go on majority of a meat diet, bro, I'm not hungry. Like literally, I'm so satiated. I'm never really hungry, and I I start to really get rid of the the cravings of other bullshit ass foods. So. <laughs> me going to 7-Eleven and grabbing a Celsius with a snack or this and that or whatever. I don't want none of that shit, bro. All I want is chicken, beef, steaks, and uh, maybe a little bit of carbs and a little bit of salad. And um, that's really it, man. Uh, everything I've been drinking has kind of been zero sugar. So I feel good. Uh, I haven't checked my weight. I'm gonna wait till about the 30th to check my weight because I know on Easter, we'll probably be ended up going up to my uh, my dad's side of the family um, up there and they're gonna eat crazy and I'm gonna enjoy myself. So as far as the gym though, as far as everything else goes, I feel good. I think I see a little bit of improvement in my cardio just because of, I've been doing it more on a consistent basis. Now, as far as weightlifting, I'm weightlifting pr almost not. Here's the thing. You got to understand the difference with training styles. Working out is working out. But when it comes to lifting weights, I call that like, I don't know, I guess just lifting weights, bro. Like, you know, a split or whatever. But right now, I'm more on an athletic style training, like an athlete, plyometrics, um, cardio where I'm using my muscles and in high twitch fibers and in um, explosiveness and uh, box jumps, stuff like that, ladders, battle ropes, been doing pull-ups, um, explosive push-ups and um, stuff like that, just different footwork drills and um, I feel good. You know, I, I want to get back to an athletic stage. Me being able to do all that, my body's going to, my joints are going to feel that. They're going to be like, no, nah, I don't want this shit. I want to get rid of it. And um, that's what I feel like I'm doing right now. So I know my goal was to hit 15 pounds drop this month. I started off the, the goal or this challenge, March 30 for 30 at 299. And I told myself I'm going to drop 15, 20 pounds. I can honestly say I felt, I feel like I've dropped some weight but I feel like I'm far off from where I wanted to be. So that's what I got for you guys right now in this talk. 